Okay, what I want to talk about today is a service. What we have here in this situation, we have a meter main center. There's your meter. There's your main. You have wires feeding from the meter down to the main lug here. Don't know if we can see those wires. They're coming to the top. Okay, then we have our four wires that we're going to a sub panel inside the house. You see your black wire, your black and red, you see your black wire with the white stripe, and then you see your ground wire, which is the bare aluminum. In front of me, you see two main lugs. That's your main lugs that ties in the two black wires, the, the black and red and the black wire. Over here on the right hand side, you see a larger lug at the bottom. That is where your white wire will go on that lug. And then you see at the top, you see a bare copper wire. You'll take this bare aluminum wire and you will put it on that lug also. We'll probably add a new lug because we don't usually like to put copper and aluminum together because it'll allow for corrosion. That breaker there, if you see it, that's just for temporary power. I want to go down to the bottom here. You see a bare wire. You see that bare wire running outside. We're tying it to the building ground. Okay. We've got it painted green. And it's coming out to a low voltage box. That's going to be for like your cable TVs and your telephones. Then it's going down to a ground rod. We have an anchor and clamp here for that. You have to have 25 ohms of resistance on your grounding system. So because we have it on the building ground and we have a ground rod, we only have to have one. So that's a quick explanation of the outside service. Now I'm going to take this condo. I want you to follow this up here. Because this is not a back-to-back -back service, we have to put a four-wire system in because we have a sub-panel. Here's our sub-panel. Let me show you the wires coming in. You look overhead, you see it coming overhead. All right, and it's coming right down into the top of this panel. Okay, now here's, once again, there's your two main lugs. And then here is your neutral, your black wire with the white stripe. And here is your ground wire, the bare aluminum wire that's tied in. Now I want you to notice on the ground wire side, you have a bonded jumper. That's that piece of copper with the green screw in it. That's required. What does that do? That grounds the frame of the whole meter center. Okay, I want you to notice the neutral side. The neutral is actually isolated. It does not touch the meter can because this is a sub-panel. It's in the National Electric Code. And here's your two hot lugs. Okay, now I just want you to look at that bus bar very, very carefully here. And this is the bus bar right here. Okay, what I want you to look at is that the right-hand side. Let's just go to the right-hand side, for instance. Take the right-hand side. And you look how it goes. It goes down here and it's tied in. When you're actually counting your breakers, you're going to have on the right-hand side is your even numbers, and on the left-hand side is your odd numbers. That's how you get your 240 volts. Because one side of the ground is 120. I want you to look at the other side. Same way. What's important, guys, is not to overload the bus bar. You want to evenly distribute your load. And just to know, so you know the way you count it, when you look at a panel schedule, you'll have on the left-hand side, it'll be like one, three, five. And your even numbers will be two, four, six on the right-hand side, all the way down to 40 or whatever your panel is. Okay, one thing I want to point out that's very important here that we always do, I want you to look at the wires and see how we've labeled them. You see that one is marked dryer, the one is marked refrigerator or fridge, You've got microwave, dishwasher, you got GFI, you got master bedroom. You get the point. The orange wire is the air conditioning. You get the point. The, the reason for this, when you're actually making up your panel box and you're putting your breakers in, you can label your panel schedule correctly 
because it's part of the National Electric Code that you have a legible panel schedule and a correct panel schedule. If you have any questions, just email us at jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. For you electricians, for you journeymen, for you great helpers, take someone under your wing and help them. Let's make this world a better place and pay it forward. Thank you.